So before you start going ape shit on your keyboard, I know. I know Under the Mayo's already done a video on this, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna leave it linked right here in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you're someone that's just getting into Doom Eternal or haven't really learned the full potential of the meat hook, I recommend watching that video and then maybe coming back to this one as I'm gonna build off of some of the stuff that Under the Mayo talked about, but he covers the basics pretty thoroughly. He's also a PC player, so I'm gonna try to tackle this from a console perspective. I play on both, so I would like to think that I know what I'm talking about. But this topic comes from Gerard. God, I hope I'm not butchering your name. Who basically says that even on an elite controller, he's still struggling to throw himself in the air with the meat hook. Speaking of controller, I play on a basic PlayStation 4 controller. I don't have anything special, no attachments, nothing like that. The only unique properties that my controller has is that it's been thrown about 30 times. You stupid oh, fucking wait, thing. No. Work and still more or less works. Just refuses to give up. It's like a dude on prom night. By the way, if you're someone that's looking for a more comfortable or personal button layout, I talk about my settings right here. Even if my settings don't work out for you, there's tons of comments on that video with all kinds of different button variations from all the people that commented. So you're bound to find something that might work for you. So I highly recommend checking that video out. But getting to the topic, the meat hook. It's a tool for quick prowler eliminations, gaining extra armor once mastered with the flaming hook. This tool can also be utilized for skipping giant arenas, optional fights or even small little tedious sections like right here on Mars Core. It also provides huge advantages in fights, even the fight against the gladiator, where if you learn to perfect this, you can throw yourself above the gladiator in both stages of the fight, completely bypassing his defenses. So how do you do this? Well, let's talk about the basic meat hook first, which I'm assuming a lot of people are doing, or those of you that can't get the hang of throwing yourself in the air, I'm assuming your problem is you're not jumping. So I'm gonna show you these clips of basic meat hooking. I'm moving from left to right, I'm going straight forward, I'm basically letting the animation do its thing. When I'm trying to go left or go right, you can tell uh, based on my movement, there's also a slight bend in the chain giving an indication of me trying to move left and right. You do move a little bit, but you're still very stiff. You're a very easy target. You're basically going in a straight line. I don't ever use my meat hook like this, and I don't recommend anybody doing that either. Very rarely do I write out the entire animation of the meat hook. The only time I ever do is if I'm going to chainsaw the demon that I meat hook. So as you can tell, against fodder demon and even against the caca demon, you're moving essentially in a straight line, which might come in handy if you're trying to escape danger. If you're being pressured very heavily from any demons, it'll be useful in this case, but not for any battlefield advantage. So don't write out your animation. What you're gonna wanna do is find a key point to jump. And the reason why you're jumping is because that's how you're gonna disconnect your meat hook, but it's also gonna be what throws you in the air. You don't have to dash, you don't have to double jump, you just have to jump one time. Couple that with the air control rune, which I have in this gameplay, and you'll notice how much fluid you are automatically as soon as you disconnect. Speaking of disconnect, how do you know what the best time is to do so? I think this is gonna be a little bit of practice on your part to really understand, as initially I thought momentum was a big factor, but after messing around with this a little bit, that doesn't really seem to be the case. You're always gonna be thrown forward the difference of whether if you're gonna be lobbed straight into the air or kind of shot like a dart really depends on the distance of the demon that you're meat hooking onto and when you decide to jump or disconnect those are some things you always want to take into consideration but using this screenshot kind of as a basis this is as far as the meat hook extends it's got a surprising amount of range I thought it was like half the size I do also want to say this is on console there is a rumor that on PC or the meat hook in general goes based on your frame rate so if you're playing on pc with a higher frame rate your meat hook is going to extend a little bit longer that is a rumor anyways i want to experiment with it a little bit more before i can confirm but based off of what i've seen from 120 frames on pc to 60 frames on console that does seem to be the case there was a slight extension there at least in the very small area where i compared the two anyways going back to the screenshot the green space is where you want to disconnect for aerial combat if you kind of want to throw yourself in the air hover and let off a bunch of shots i'll talk about how you can hover in a second. The yellow space is where you want to be for trajectory, momentum. You're trying to escape a sticky situation or get through a very narrow space between demons. That's where you want to disconnect. The very last part, the red part, is where you want to be if you want to chainsaw the demon that you are meat hooking. This is not the time to disconnect. You're disconnecting too late. Essentially, during this frame, imagine you being a magnet and the demon that you meat hook being another magnet. You two are going to collide and you're risking getting yourself cornered. So you're going to want to jump before this part. I also want to point out with the tyrant specifically when you're further away that green space can extend over into the yellow space that is if you're further away the trade-off here is even though that green space is going to extend into the yellow space if the distance between you and that tyrant or you and that demon is
this further, you're not going to get as high. So that's the trade off. Imagine the yellow frame being momentum and speed, the green being trajectory. Yellow is perfect for closing in gaps or escaping, while green is perfect for combat. I should say there is a little bit of a caveat to that. That is at the Miyuk's full extension. As I mentioned a little while ago, momentum is not that important. What is important is how close you are to the demon that you're meat hooking. The closer the demon is to you, the faster you're going to travel. The further the demon is, the lower your quote unquote momentum. And with the lower momentum, you're not going to get as high. As I mentioned earlier, with the further distance, don't expect to get as much elevation. You notice right here in this clip on Art Complex, I'm kind of messing around with these tight corners to bypass all these fodder demon in this hallway. And I am moving a little faster in this clip versus in the Gladiator Arena where right here specifically, I'm meat hooking a demon that's a little further away. You notice that I'm not flying as fast but i do get the elevation necessary to get above the gladiator because of the gladiator's positioning he's closer to me so i can actually just throw myself in the air pretty quickly hence you, you should probably practice with this a little bit to understand the differences in distance and what situation calls for you to hang on to the meat hook victim a little longer or not i also want to point out something very interesting in this clip i don't hang on to that demon very long and as a matter of fact if i slow the game playing down as soon as you catch on to the demon the game is already going to start to push you forward and that's why I say momentum is kind of irrelevant because as soon as you catch on to the demon, the game is already pushing you forward. The point of hanging on to the demon longer or not is based off of your positioning, which is relevant to whatever you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to close the gap and skip a fight or are you trying to throw yourself in the air, hover and land a couple extra shots? Speaking of which, what the hell is hovering and why do I keep bringing that up? Well first off, I'm using hovering as a loose word. Basically, it's an action that you use to utilize as much air time as you can to get off as many shots as possible before you hit the ground. As I'm sure all of you guys know, in Doom Eternal you have a double jump. Jump once, jump again, and then you come back down, your jumps reset. Now we're already using our first jump when we disconnect with the meat hook. You want to save that second jump for as your character starts to descend, right before that, you want to jump again that's going to kind of balance you out giving you an extra second or two to get some extra shots off if you wait a little too long and you start falling and then you use your jump you're basically fighting against your character's gravity or your character's weight and it's not going to be as successful this is a perfect tool on demons like dread knights or hell knights or even tyrants i'm using it to perfection right here on the gladiator i'm not landing all my shots but that's a different guide if you're playing on pc this gives you enough time to almost cycle through your entire arsenal if not all your main power weapons if you're quick enough Enough on console which again all this gameplay is captured on console it's still enough time to get off a handful of shots you can also get a little crazy with it instead of jumping you can dash like I do here uh, because of my personal button layout I don't really do it because that messes up my aim or you can also use that second jump before you start to descend and then dash once and then as that dash ends maybe dash again and then you can chain your meat hook one more time before hitting the ground it's possible but I like to dash as soon as I hit the ground and since my dashes would already be used in the scenario I don't ever do it but it is possible definitely way more advanced though something you're gonna want to practice on before you commit to doing stuff like that in like ultra nightmare or even nightmare but it is possible lastly how do you throw yourself behind a demon this is kind of just an extra tacked on tip as i said earlier the big thing here is jumping to disconnect your meat hook and then your position the demon's position and the ultimate goal here if you're simply going to throw yourself over the demon if it's a bigger demon you're going to want a little bit more space between you and it as again you don't want to run the risk of colliding with it right here i'm gonna use this dread knight as an example i actually meat hook the imp directly in front of him and then before reaching that little red zone and as I talked about where the meat hook ends or you're running the risk of colliding with the demon I jump turn around but you also want to use your analog stick to move backwards almost like you're walking backwards and that's what's going to push you behind the demon rather than just throwing yourself in the air turning around and not really moving earlier I talked about as soon as you grab onto a demon it's going to pull you forward with the analog stick when you jump you have more control moving left right and backwards than you do moving forward you're already being pulled by the meat hook so moving forward doesn't make any any sense you're not boosting how fast you're going forward so that's something else to take into consideration but again definitely a trick you want to practice a lot especially throwing yourself behind demons as this catches a lot of demons off guard giving you an extra second to get a shot or two off on them before they turn around anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section if there's any other guides you want to see any questions concerns anything like that i'm always active with you guys down in the comment section feel free to post whatever it is special thank you to gerard for the topic of today's video as well if you guys have join the discord you're missing out that that is all i'm saying like always my name is cynic thank you all so much for watching but until next time i'll see y'all later